Cartelli's design, the one common feature is that they were very strong. Uh, he really put a great emphasis on strength. So the planes tended to be heavier than other airplanes and had a lot more power because they were so much heavy. And they might have, they lacked in maneuverability, but they made up for it in great strength and great speed. So that was the one common feature of all his planes, the P-47, the F-105 fighter bomber, even the A-10 that is still flying today are unusually strong aircraft. They could take a lot of damage and keep flying. They're very heavy with a lot of armor plate and the strongest engine available. So that's the one common feature, great strength, great power, great speed. He was certainly a very uh, innovative designer. Uh, focusing on uh, uh, high-speed wings, uh, unique airfoil shapes, uh, using so much armor plating in his planes to try to uh, protect them. The uh, A-10 design, which was the last plane he worked on, and that's a close air support for the U.S. Air Force, and they're still flying today. It had several unique features. Uh, instead of a, had a backup for the hydraulic system called a manual reversion system, so the plane could keep flying even if the hydraulics were shot out and the use of widely spaced engines and twin tails, putting the pilot in a titanium bathtub so it could withstand intense aircraft, uh, anti-aircraft fire, where really uh, he was focused on survivability of the pilot and the plane, and it was really a, a unique uh, aircraft design using so many features so the plane could be struck by missiles and cannons and, and keep flying. So the, again, great strength in the airframe was really his uh, hallmark and was a uh, really a tremendous uh, a legacy to leave for future designers to focus on the strength in the plane. He certainly, I think, would be considered one of the great aircraft designers because he had such a long career. He started off really in 1920s with uh, biplanes and he wound up designing some of the earliest and most important American fighters, the P-43, the P-47, Thunderbolt of World War II. And then he made that transition into jet aircraft with the F-84 Thunderjet and Thunderstreak the F-105 fighter bomber of the Vietnam War, and the A-10 Thunderbolt II, which is still flying today. So his career covered just about 50 years of aircraft design, and he made the transition from propeller planes to high-performance jet aircraft, building, gr designing great aircraft at every step of his career. So I think he would be considered one of the uh, more important aircraft designers of all time.